was there ever a game that you liked but like did not love but you enjoyed and you really liked the character design and then you needed to buy stuff for the game so you told your parents hey i want to buy this thing and then your parents are like no don't because you won't like it for long but you're like yes i will i will like it forever you don't know me i will love this so then you buy more and then you're like oh no i love this or the character design and then you're like oh yeah it is very good i still love it and then never buy any again if you played Skylanders as a kid, the answer is probably yes. I loved Skylanders, and today we're going to do an experiment in character design, and we're going to go through my favorite designs in Skylanders and redesign them. Hi, my name is Gab Gabio, and this is the first installment in my series, An Exercise in Character Design. The goal in this series is to take franchises that I loved as a kid, mostly for character designs, because I've always been a fan of character design, and either take the best character designs, in my opinion, and draw them basically as fan art with my little corrective stuff, or take the least, the ones that I hated the most, and then redesign them to fit my personal aesthetic. It doesn't have to be everybody's cup of tea, it is really just an exercise in character design for me. <laughs> that sounded so condescending, I'm so sorry. Anyway. Um, so the first installment is Skylanders, so we're already in it, so let's see what's going on. So here's Scratch, the first, uh, character. I believe Scratch appeared in the second, uh, Skylander, so in Skylanders Giants, and I really liked her. She was a cat, she was, she had wings, uh, she was really cool. And, um, she was one of my favorite character designs, even though I generally don't like animal designs. Um, for this one, the way I worked around it is I kept basically the same pieces, so it's still a cat. Um, I kept the mask and the gauntlets, the wings, and I just basically, as the only difference in the silhouette is the puffier tail. The first one is kind of like, um, short first, like thin and then poofs off, and I just wanted a big poofy tail. For the mask, I basically kept the same mask that they have on the sapphire route. Um, basically in Skylanders, if you don't already know, you can always uh, choose between two routes in your level up. And I always preferred the Sapphire one because I thought it was prettier. <laughs> so uh, that's the one I took. I kept the mask because I thought it was cooler than just uh, like the golden mask that she has originally. And then I changed the light up color to from like uh, either pink or purple to a green um, because I thought it would really contrast well the pink of her wings. And also, I thought it was really cool for a cat to just have, like, green claws. As a character, I always loved her, not only because she's cute, but because uh, she had, like, the personality of a cat, and I always loved that. Like, she jumps around, she claws. And um, one of her ability was that she could jump in the air, and she had a pointer on the ground, and then she slashed at the pointer, and I thought that was really cool. So, yeah, I'm pretty much done with Scratch, so let's move on to the next one. So the second one I thought were, I thought to do immediately was Ninjini, uh, which is also in the thumbnail. Um, Ninjini, as the name says, is a ninja and a genie. Um, so for the redesign, I mostly worked on putting more ninja-likeness to her design because like she looked like a genie and like had armor, but she didn't read that ninja-y to me, which is okay, but I decided just to do that by adding a mask, but also by slimming o the overall design. So um, I removed like the massive gauntlet and replaced them with simple gloves. And then she was always a really cool character. I remember being like, it was the first one that was not available where I was. So I had to like travel to get it or something. I think it was like on a school trip and I found her in like a random shop in Montreal. That was really cool. Uh, I looked really dumb in the shopping trip, but it was really cool. Yeah, I really liked her ability in the bottle, so I really liked her gameplay too, she was really cool. Uh, the bottle attacks were nice. Uh, I have the figure right next to me because, I don't know if you know this, but the Skylanders are really expensive and I have a lot of them left. I would say I have about 30 of them over like 5 years, don't worry, I didn't spend that much money on it, but uh, kind of a lot. Um, 
I kept the colors basically similar. I just desaturated the blue a little bit and I made the purple a little more saturated and same with the hair. I just made it pop a little bit more and then I tried to make it like the rest pretty dark. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for the character design. I was really happy with this design. I thought it was one of the better ones. Then for the third one, I went with Fire Kraken. So this is the first and the only one of this video that was from the third game, I believe, that is called Swap Force. Um, in that game, the characters can swap, uh, like swap their top and bottom parts. So like basically you have two toys for the price of one because you can literally like rip them apart and uh, glue them on other character, which is really like a cool concept, I thought, at least as a kid. And I think, I still think it is a cool concept. Um, and Fire Kraken was always one of my favorite designs because he's so goofy and I love him. Um, as for the redesign, I basically just made his shape language a little more defined. So I tried to make the hands really go from small to really large, same with the feet. And I tried to slim the tail a little bit, just to, I don't know. Um, if there's something I'm not super proud of, it's the head. I thought it could be squished more because it's really cool on the original character. And I thought that was like the piece that I kind of messed up upon, but I'm still happy with it. Then the next one is Nightfall. This one is a character that I'm not, I, I don't know a lot about her because she was from Trap Team. I believe Trap Team, either Trap Team or the one after that that is uh, like the car game. Um, and I never played that game. So uh, I don't know. I just know the character design. Even if I didn't play the game, I really liked the design. So I decided to go with it. Um, I really like the hair on this character and I really like what she represents. She's just really cool. The Skylander has kind of a problem with uh, female characters and mouth and eyes. So most characters like Ninjini, both Ninjini stealth health and this stealth health and this one have the same problem where their whole eye is whited out and then they have something covering their mouth, which I don't like. But also then I gave Ninjini something on their mouth. So, you know, but um, I tried to make the eye like uh, black sclera with white irises just because I think it is cooler, you know? And uh, it's more defined. By the way, all these designs, I imagined them as if I had to animate them drawingly, so not 3D, like in 2D. So that's how I went about it, and that's why they're illustrations. The last one I did is my favorite character design in the entire Skylander, and it is Roller Brawl. Okay, so I gotta say, her first gen design is not my favorite. I've gotta say, it's, it's fine, it's not the best. But it is pretty cool, and I really liked her attack because they were, like, interesting and fun. But then her second gen design is super fucking cool. So I basically just did a little swap B4s here and I made them, I combined them. I basically took the silhouette from the second game, but uh, took some elements from the first one. So the gauntlets are the same one as in the first one. So two like teeth for the claws instead of like the long thingy. Um, and then I made the bodice like with bones because I thought it was a really cool logo logo and uh yeah I put bones everywhere because she's a hundred because they're all elemental I didn't say this I'm a really bad youtuber but <laughs> they are all elementals and this is one of uh the undead I also so for the second design there's something on her mouth and I tried to remove it and I thought it was really cool um for the colors I went a little less saturated with the skin uh, basically the same saturation that he is, she is originally, uh, and I tried to keep the rest pretty tame, except for the hair, and, uh, everything pretty gray and dark so that the bone could, like, pop off on it. I kept the skirt from the second design because I thought it, it was a really cool element and, uh, made her look really chic. And I decided that under her eye, since it's always covered, I just put some under shit there because I thought it looked cool. So here's going to be the montage and see you in a bit.
so yeah i am done with this video uh it was really fun an exercise character design is something i want to do more of i already have an idea for the second installment but if you all ever have any idea for another one uh just hit me up so here are all my socials they're also in the description and see you later